Would you like to own a store without the overhead and the building? Only if there's a way. Now we have a way. Who did it and riding? Dealing LLC part time thriving only on the Friday night ride out. Let's go! What's going on? It's first Friday, April 7th, 2023. It's another episode of Friday Night Ride Out with your host, Carl, and CEO Cobra. And today's episode, we're going to show you how to make your own Spotify store. And one secret key ingredient that's really missing from all the Spotify stores, the secure Spotify store part. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. You can get started with Spotify in two different ways. You have the freeway as a developer way to get started and you have a paid way to get started with Shopify. I have a video tutorial of the process of signing up. It's going to be right here in the description right here. And the purpose of this video is we're going to be on the development side. This is a web development show, and I have a web development company, website solutions. But we're going to be on the web, web development side. And what you need to know about the web development side is they have a lot of code, a lot of, a lot of development code. But it's easy to try. They will give you a template of the code and, and the Shopify. But I have a, a link down in the description below of the code, of the code reference that you're going to need to develop your own Shopify store. And but we're gonna go over the three main important codes you really need, need to know to, to, to develop your Shopify store and put the process in place to, 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 to develop and deploy your Shopify store. The three main products, the main process of the code that you need to really know is called the object, tags, and filters. The object is a curly brace with shop dash store. It could be title, it could be any kind of variable that really describes your store, just describe what you're trying to sell. And the second one, uh, uh, the tag. The tags are the commands on the store. What, what, you, what you want the store to do. You want the navigation bars, you know, the sale process, the the, 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 the features that may make you so unique is with the tag. And, and S and S V is with the the the, 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 the the curly braces and a, a percentage side and a close tag with that as well. And the third one is called filters. It's it's, it's a command. It's like the JavaScript of the site. It's, it's up, up sale. And I have a, a, a slide right here that really more detail. And the first thing you really should sure focus on is the product. What products that's uh, familiar to you, but and most importantly, what are other people buying? Uh, nationwide on Shopify, you know the, the the number one website to go to is the, the Google Trends website. I got it's, it's showing right here right now the Google Trends website. They will show you all of the 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 most selling Shopify products nationwide. You know you you know, have others search development tools down in the description below that will show you what's the, what's the trending topic, what's the trending summer the summertime products, what's the springtime products available to sell right now. So just you know, it's best to do your research and your due diligence, you know, the find the, the winning products, the, the winning services, the sales, Shopify, the, 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 to make your e-commerce store more profitable. And the next step is to you have your products uh, figure out is, is about your things. And Shopify has plenty of things, uh, things free and for sale. You can actually go on the, the Shopify app store and figure out what kind of apps you want to use for your things. You know, so you have Email dinners, bills, email funnels. They have abandoned you know, cart. You know, when, when people you know check out a product and they don't buy, they have 
app that will contact the customers, email the customers if they don't buy your product. So before they, they go come back to your product. So they have really good things, you know, good prices and things that help you, you know, grow your e-commerce stores and you know, they have you stand out on the competition. You know, the things, the things relevant to your product, relevant to, to your niche or it's just nothing. As an entrepreneur, you got to really try something new. Be bold and stand up on the crowd. And, and what, I, what we're doing here in the Web State Solutions, we're doing something new, innovative, and then creative. And I've never been done in the e-commerce platform. And that's called the secret sauce. We actually are going to sell e-commerce products and attach them to affiliate products. We, so what do I mean by that? Is that we're going to actually get, get like physical product and attach an e, e, a, um, affiliate marketing product to that. So, like, as for example, I have this video camera here that that is a webcam, but on top of that webcam, we're going to actually sell the video marketing blaster from Slate Bank on top of that. That's what the ticket sauce is about, you know, doubling the sales, doubling value, and man more value to the customers, and building a second echo string on top of one echo string, you know. It's really condensing time frames and making my, making my store stand out for any other store out there. It's a process, you know, I'm, I'm really staying alone on this myself, you know, test this thing out and see how it goes, you know. Just be able to know that to take chances in my business, you know, to, to take the chances, you know, to be one of the first to ever do this, you know, that thing is called Secret Sauce. I just came on that title, so it's, so it's just a new thing we, we're going to do, implement in our business. I got examples right here, plenty of stuff you could do, you know, the weight loss industry, you could sell keto plans, and I'm, I take measure too. So just a little things you could do, you know, just change stuff off from the, the, the dozen software stores out there. And that's really the Secret Sauce. Of the Shopify success. You know, after having your hybrid process in place, it's fine. It's time for the final checklist. You know, I have a checklist down below that you know you got to go through. You know, to make sure your your site is, is profitable and ready to be deployed out there to the marketplace. And you know, have it's just got to check your payment processors, your tags, your images. You know, make sure that they're H one N one header for SEO tools and to check any processes. Of, that you that you have to check, you know, you have to check if your prices are right. You know, do 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 compare the market research on your prices. You know, it's just it's, the check is check is the store is all of the code. I have a, a link down below that that has the whole full run now of the checklist. You know, to make sure that you you're using your, your unique titles, a fire description, SEO friendly, the descriptions, pretty good pictures, you know, pretty good quality pictures in, in your for your products and don't you do it to your 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 do the diligence and stand out from the crowd. Yeah. I said for the show today. I said for the show today. I had no couple videos there. You know, if, if it was something I didn't go over in detail, you want me to do the explain, you know, just leave leave a comment down in the description and like not like the, the like you know, subscribe to the channel and then more income streams coming soon, more ways, you know, you well designed to make more streams and come to what the channel's about. And the next episode is April 21st, the old Battle Royale of, you know, what's the best SEO tools. If you have this Shopify store that you just built, you're going to, we're going to go through details how to expand it, grow it, you know, keep customer sales and what, what, what kind of lead, lead management you need in your Shopify store and your online business. And we're going to compare two of the best the local SEO content tools. We're going to dominate We're going to, you know, we're going to also compare those two companies together. We're going to compare those two companies together, give you the pros and cons of those two companies, and we're going to, you know, see what's going to come out of time. You know, that's the next episode. April 21st, 2023, two weeks later, you know, we're back. You know, just, just thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for you know, taking your time Friday night, you know, to learn how to do South by the South by development. You know, we just, Hope you keep, 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 keep across the channel, you know. We'll see you in two more weeks. Peace.